Hey guys, I have another quick tip for you. Let's say you have a project that requires an exploded view, but the model you're using is all one piece of geometry. And you could painstakingly go through here and try to separate all the bits and pieces out, but well, it's time for that. So I wanted to show you a cool trick with the Veroni fracture. If we go ahead and open up our Veroni fracture and go ahead and drop our jet engine under there, we can see it did exactly what you expect. It fractured it into a bunch of pieces, but this isn't really what we want. But if we go into our Veroni Fracture object, and we go to Sources, and we have our point generator here, and this is usually what you'd use to generate all the fracture pieces. As you can see, I can add more, add more op points, and that'll fracture it more. But if we actually turn off the point generator, we'll check that out. So now, Rather than fracturing it, it's looking for all the individual islands of geometry and turning that into its own unique piece. And what's cool about that is now we can apply this into MoGraph. So now we want to animate this thing. Um, let's go ahead and throw down a plane effector. And let's go ahead and give it a linear field to start. Cool. And then we're going to go to our Veroni fracture, go to your effectors, go ahead and drop that plane effector down here. And let's go ahead and make a few changes. So moving on the Y, bring that to zero, put it on the X. And so there we go. Now right away, you're starting to see some cool stuff can come from this. Let me narrow this out a little bit. So now, check that out. So you can get really creative with this. You can have this thing animate on in some interesting way. Maybe if you wanted, you go to the plane effector and let's affect the scale. Uniform, absolute, negative one. So now we can have this thing like animate on. It's kind of cool. You know, let's stick to our original idea. We want to have this thing do an exploded view. This is cool, but it would be neat if some of these pieces kind of expanded out a little bit. So there's another effector for that. Let's go ahead and grab our, oh, what is it called? Push apart. So we take push apart, apply that into our Verona fracture. And of course, by default, it's going to be way too much. Let's go ahead and just bring the radius down to like one. Okay, so now we can just, there we go. Let's say, I think five is a good number. And then let's go ahead and go into our fields and apply the same linear field that's in our plane into the push apart effector. That way, this linear field is affecting both of these uh, MoGraph effectors. And now, I move our plane effector. Pretty cool. So now it's like expanding outwards. And so right away, I mean, it's cool that like you can animate this on in some really interesting and creative ways. Um, but of course, it's also good for if you just wanted to do a quick little still still frame image. So, you know, we just kind of break it apart and bring our render view up. There you go. Perfect for some cool MoGraphy things. Whatever your heart desires. Let's bring back that scale thing. I just want to see how that how that comes together. Yeah, look at that. So now maybe you want to do some interesting little like MoGraphy animation. Let's maybe bring the X down to like 50 or something, make that a little less extreme. So this is undoubtedly like the coolest thing you could do with this trick, but there's some other stuff. For example, um, this is really useful for text. So I've got another scene set up here. In the same scenario, say your client gives you a logo or some copy or whatever, and it's all just condensed down into a single uh, spline object. Well, we can do the exact same thing. We can go ahead and drop in our Veroni fracture. Hold Alt key while, when you release and it'll uh, automatically parent the thing you have selected. So yeah, we just go to our Veroni fracture and where are we at? Sources, turn off the point, and there you go. Now every uh, piece of text is now its own unique thing. And of course you can, that means you can do our, you know, your typical movie theater text thing where let's go ahead and drop in our plane effector here. And let's just have it move, you know, back into space. All right. Then give it some rotation. Wrong rotation. There we go. Yeah, there we go. So now when we apply our linear field to this, there you go. 
So yeah, we can take a look at how that's how that comes together. Yeah, look at that. You can do all kinds of cool stuff with this. And of course, you can apply this um, to the shader in Redshift. You can look at my other tutorials for that. And you can actually have this fade on as this comes through. It's cool stuff. So anyway, that's my tip for today. So thanks for watching. Hope it helps.